Okay, since uh, the negative is so fond of SpaceX, uh, I just want to talk a little bit about SpaceX before we finish off here. Uh, they said that, that SpaceX is competing with NASA, which is not true because SpaceX is only competing with other uh, private industry for the jobs that, that NASA is providing. Because NASA uh, sends out a bunch of contracts uh, each year, and it just happens that SpaceX has been winning them. Um, yeah, an uh, uh, article from The Verge it says, um, SpaceX will be launching an another rocket for, uh, for NASA. The company launched the Jason 3 Ocean Monitoring Satellite for the Space Agency in January. And, 20, and in 2017, SpaceX is supposed to launch NASA's Tresini Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. Um, so, see, uh, I want to see what's the competing in there. And besides that, he did, they also mentioned that uh, NASA should find ways to decrease spending. And they just mentioned, uh, the negative just mentioned that uh, SpaceX has been using less money to, money to pr produce rockets and stuff like that when they're they're all working for the contracts NASA is offering so in a sense aren't they using less because of, of that I don't know that's what I believe and to be clear just to have a distinction between oh, SpaceX and NASA uh, while SpaceX well no while NASA will focus on the broad uh, <coughs> category of Space, uh, space exploration, all that. SpaceX is only focusing on currently creating their rockets, uh, <coughs> reusable rockets. Uh, the president himself uh, of SpaceX, Elon Musk, said, "If one can figure out how to effectively reuse rockets, just like airplanes, the cost of access to space will be reduced by as much as a factor of 100. A fully reusable vehicle has never been done before. Uh, that really is the fundamental breakthrough needed to revolutionize access to space." So. Their focus right now is just to perfect the reusable rockets. They're not, they don't want to, let's say, explore other planets uh, currently. They just want to perfect their, their technology as it, as it is. So since they are focusing all their energy on one topic, that's why uh, they are having success in that said topic. And just to uh, reiterate about um, what the negative said about uh, NASA not helping out in, in terms of the Earth itself. We mentioned there's a bunch of spin-off technologies that come from NASA. Uh, just to mention one, the parachute shrouds from the landing of the Vikings on Mars has these fiber materials that are, not, are now used on, in our tires for, for our, our cars and stuff. And that was an indirect thing. It's spin-off technology. Of course, it, NASA didn't directly want to just make that for cars. But it ended up working for itself. Uh, uh, not only that, uh, the the rockets uh, that NASA used to go up into space is now being used in in the the fire hoses. So for these the powerful rockets launched that propel spacecraft into deep space are now uh, fighting fire. According to Rory Roland, a chief engineer at Orbital Technologies Corporation. Um, he also partnered with the U.S. Air Force Fire Rescue Group to design a similar high-pressured system that suppresses fires in seconds. They're using technology for sp uh, that was designed for space in a, just a different way. Maybe it was not the, the direct purpose in the beginning, but that's what is being used uh, now. So I like to say, yeah, we, uh, NASA and the space program should just receive a, a substantial increase in funding because it doesn't only help the space, it also helps our planet as a whole. Thank you.